Hello everyone and uh, welcome to week four. I can't believe here I am doing the Tuesday virtual newsletter again. The weeks are absolutely whizzing by at the moment. As you can see, um, I'm in a different location this week and I'm actually outside the new um, learning undercover space behind the year six and five learning classroom. So what a wonderful learning space that these kids will be able to use when they transition back to school in two weeks time. And in the distance, you can um, possibly just pick up some children out on the oval engaged in their specialist um, PE lesson at the moment. So life life is getting back to normal for us. Um, and we're really looking forward to um, welcoming all the kids back on campus um, at the start of week six. I'd like to welcome back the prep and year one students. Um, wonderful to have have them back um, at school and getting back into normal school routines and so far so good the students have settled back to school exceptionally well. I'd like to thank the prep and year one parents for the wonderful way in which you have supported um, your child's return to school as well as um, helping us with the social distancing rules which we've put in place. Talking about people coming back, um, I'd like to welcome back Mr. Dom Riley um, from Parenting Leave and some long service leave. And he has come back um, as a new dad. Um, they have welcomed a healthy little boy into their lives. So great to have um, Dom Riley back at work. And we also thank uh, Mrs. Julia Bowman for the wonderful way in which she um, stepped up and was part of the year six learning team um, during Mr. Riley's absence. Um, in conclusion, I would like to remind you to please um, keep the channels of communication open. If there's anything you need information about or something isn't working too well for you, please don't hesitate to contact the teachers or contact the office so that we can continue um, walking this journey as smoothly as possible. I'd like to wish every family every blessing um, and have a safe and healthy week ahead. And as per usual, please stay tuned for my weekly joke or riddle um, at the end of this week's newsletter. We'll chat soon. How nice it is to have the preps and year ones back with us this week. Just a couple of reminders for you this week. Um, during this week and next week only, we're allowing all the children to wear their sports uniforms to school. When the year two to six return, we will go back to our regular days of uniforms. Also, thank you to those parents, to all of the parents who are cooperating and using the drop off and pick up zone. We thank you for working with us on that. If you do have any issues with anything with regard to that, please come and see me. And then finally, just the last reminder for year twos to six parents to register your children's attendance for next week being week five. Thank you, have a great week. Hello everyone. I wanted to let you know about the Premier's Reading Challenge. The Premier's Reading Challenge started yesterday and it goes until the 28th of August. This year we will be participating as a school. So from prep to grade six, all students will be asked to give their best at the Premier's Reading Challenge. Prep to grade two will read around 20 books and they can either read them or experience them by um, someone else reading it to them. Grade three to four need to read 20 books as well. And grade five to six is around 15 books. So that's over the period of 11th of May to the 28th of August. You will then get a certificate of participation from the Premier in October for being part of it. I look forward to seeing what sort of books you're reading and um, you're going to really enjoy this challenge this year. Good morning, everybody. It's Ian Bloxham from St. Paul's Lutheran Primary School, the business manager. Um, here on the newsletter today, um, just making people aware that you should have received your school fee accounts by now. If you haven't, please let us know. You should be able to also look it up in Parent Lounge now. Um, again, if you're having any troubles because of the economic downturn, please contact either the principal or myself in regards to um, any sort of assistance there that you may need to get through this time. Um, also in week six, um, Uniform shop, we are hoping that it will be open, as in physically open with a person at the counter to buy from, um, Miss Deb for sure, um, on Wednesday morning and Friday morning. Then that will be if parents are allowed onto campus. Now we're not sure where schools stand with that at this stage, but we're hoping that we have a good two weeks in the state of Queensland and things will return to normal, hopefully. So 
just keep your eyes and ears open on that. Um, we'll make a further announcement on Facebook um, as we get close to that week. Um, and that's about it from me. So thank you very much. Right, and in closing, here comes our um, joke or riddle for the week. What does a dog do to stop a movie? He presses pause. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a fabulous week, everyone. Take care.